here. Some, something's going on with my stream deck. So we may have to do it this way. I apologize to everybody, but you know, I have a new uh, laptop. I'm trying a new setup. You see, I got the, you know, I'm in a different room. I'm able to look more directly at you guys, you know, make eyes here, here. But, um, so here we go with Wes Watson, prison gangs, talk, talk, talk. This is one of the newer ones. You know, they say, uh, I don't do anything with the, the new ones. I'm late freight with the old ones. No, the old ones are funny, but excuse me. Let's see, um, what big time Wes is up to right now. Let's, uh, check out his mansion and. See how everything's going, you know what I mean? Let's see. Top. That's not the mansion. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so the guy moved into his <laughs> he bought his mansion. He bought a he bought uh pretty much all of North County. Right? Isn't it in North County? I don't know. I thought it was North County, San Diego, but I don't know. Wherever it is, he bought everything, all the land, everything. The neighbors had to move out. Um, even though they own their homes, now they're renting from him. <laughs> uh, uh, but everybody that gets on me, oh, you're hating on Wes. He has a mansion and all the cars and all that. Um, he's still in the high rise. Was it a month later, two months later? I don't know. But let's see what he's talking about. I'm sure he has a, he has some jewels for us, you know. Talk, 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 talk. Man, that shit's embarrassing. How do you continually walk up to your people with a straight face? I'm going to do it. This is my year. This is my month. I'm going to sign up for this program. Hold on. Um, It's called Talk, Talk, Talk. And then he just said that people continue to talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Wes, look it. Close your mouth when I talk to you. Um, you're the only one talking, big dog. And not only are you the only one talking, but you're saying the same thing three years later. You're calling the people that you want. <laughs> the people that you want to send money to you. Um, you're screaming at them and calling them. Really bad names, big dog. But I'm sure uh, you'll come up with something very philosophical, and then tell him, and then tell him you love him. He's gonna tell you he loves you after he's done with it all. He love because he does. You know what I mean? He's just showing you tough love <laughs> and crush it. This is when I'm gonna really buckle down. Yeah. I'm sick of being fat. Mm. I'm sick of being broke. Mm. I'm sick of being a dumb drunk bitch. Mm. Why don't you guys? Sit down and realize why you talk so fucking much. You talk so much because your conscience is fucking yelling at you. Mm. Your conscience is yelling at you and has been for the longest time. Mm. Supplying you your path. The ultimate path that's going to lead to your best life. It's saying, hey, you dumb bitch. Hey, dumbass. But really... Listen, everything that he has said to you and about you so far, at the end of the video, when he tells you he loves you, I, I believe he means it. I, I mean, he's sincere, you know, he just, you know, he just, he loves you. <laughs> quit, drinking, quit drinking, quit drinking. Step in the mirror today, you stupid bitch. He loves Step you. Step in the fucking mirror today. And the first thing. That your conscience tells you to change. That's what you're working on. That is what you're working on until it's fucking done. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I just do not understand how everybody fails to see that it's their mindset. Their weak core beliefs. He's fucking flexing. Why is he flexing? Hey, how did he change his voice, though? Remember he had a higher pitched voice before? That make them negotiate with their lesser self. Mm. If your core beliefs are, it's okay to have one drink a week. You'll always be a dumb drunk bitch. If your core beliefs are, oh, I'm not trying to be too ripped. You're always going to have little cone-shaped tits. 
Dude, if your core beliefs are men don't have tits, if your core beliefs are men don't take days off, if your core beliefs are if you're poor, you ain't a man. You ain't. These punks always. If, so what he's saying is if you're poor, you ain't a man. What he should be saying is, let's use his blueprint. I'm going to use steroids and tell you that I'm ethical. I'm going to lie to you about every detail of my life and tell you that I'm honorable. And I love you guys. That's Wes in a nutshell. But let's see what else he wants to tell those that he, he loves. Always write me. It's not, they're always talking about doing what's hard and having these quality habits and everything. If you did what's hard and you had quality habits, you would have money, stupid. What? You just were applying those quality habits and doing what's hard to an area, to all other areas but finances? The fuck? Obviously, you have to level up yourself first before you apply it to your financial status. But once you get yourself in check, next thing, motherfucker, next thing, motherfucker, with the same intensity, you'll... <laughs> why, do you, why do you milk a cow? <laughs> why did this fool milk a cow right now? Hold on, what was... What? But once you get yourself in check, Next thing, motherfucker, next Milk thing, it. motherfucker, <laughs> with the same intensity, your daily habits, your character, your conduct should... Your steroids, your fabrications, but I love you guys. Come back tomorrow. Bleed into all areas of your life. Yeah. You shouldn't just be crazy jacked and failing to apply that discipline to your fucking business. At that point, you're not listening to your conscience. You're failing to progress. You're stepping away from what's difficult because you probably have no confidence in the area. Why would you have no confidence in the, in the area? Lack of consistent implementation. You have to implement a program and a process to all this shit to daily build yourself so you're an undeniable motherfucker in your field if you wanna be the best speaker speak on camera every day if you want to be the most ripped motherfucker go to the fucking gym every day hold on is he claiming to be the best speaker or the best spitter did he just wait 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 did he just say that because of the way he applies his steroids that he's achieved these things hold on man Let me, let's listen to this if you want to be the best speaker, uh -huh. speak on camera every day. If you want to be the most ripped motherfucker, go to the fucking gym every day and eat the proper macros every day. If you want to not be a dumb, drunk bitch, put all your energy towards not drinking every fucking day. All you negative motherfuckers who sit there and say how you're crippled with anxiety and you're depressed and you're negative. Can I drink a soda? You guys don't realize how strong you are. Like, you guys are strong as fuck. If I sat around till 2 o'clock, I probably wouldn't make it till 3. I know I have to go. Shout out to Haritos. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, back to you, Wes. I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt your screaming. Earn that positive mental attitude. I know I have to go act my way into positive thinking. A positive action coupled with a positive thought. And then that momentum that just takes shape right after that. Motherfuckers, you haven't done shit by 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. How the fuck did you even make it this far? Yeah. All you guys that work the, the, the night shift, what do you do with your life? Everybody that works graveyard? <laughs> this guy is so funny, man. People believe this. You're strong as fuck. You're battling negative thoughts like a motherfucker. We're all human. And if you sit around, that notification from above is tapping you on the back of the head all day. Hey, loser. Hey, stupid. Hey, you dumb motherfucker. How about you go do something? You guys take that as like a, a problem with yourself. You're like, what's wrong with me? Why do I feel this way? You stupid motherfucker. When we all sit around, we all feel that way. You sat around, motherfucker. Do you not get that? 
Why do I feel so low? Well, you did nothing to feel high, stupid. Why do I feel down? Well, you did nothing to get up. Let me just say it for him. He loves you, man. He loves you. He loves you. I know he waits to the end. You know, he, he disrespects a whole lot, but he does it with love. <laughs> stupid. Do you get how this fucking works? Why do you think no. <laughs> all winners have a non-negotiable daily process to feel up? Then once they have that positive mental attitude, once they have that positive energy flowing, now they have a positive perspective. When they have a positive perspective, they attack shit that they would normally run from. Bitches run. Bitches run. Mm. Inaction breeds fear and doubt. You Why does he keep flexing? And he milked the cow again. What does it mean? It <laughs> has fear everything. You guys mm. doubt your success because mm. you have inaction. You're not acting. There's no action. That's me being into what he's talking about. Look, look, look. If I sat around as much as you motherfuckers did, I'd feel way worse. It would... I'm my biggest, I'm my worst enemy. That shit will cripple me quick. Oh. You guys don't know how strong you are at negating these negative thoughts. You, they're, they're coming at you a lot. You don't even know how fucking strong you are to deflect them so much. How about you just go into positive action so you can use all that strength towards building yourself instead of deflecting negative thoughts all day and self-doubt and lack of confidence and all these things that are just fucking plaguing you inside. All these fucking bitches with these low-level core beliefs. Now nah, you can have one drink. No, nah, I can take one hit. Now, nah. do you think he would? What if somebody made a really tiny beanie, right? Just imagine this. Do you think he likes sports teams? Like, what if somebody? What if? Okay, so let's say he likes the Padres, right? What if somebody was able to knit? Because it has to be knitted. It has to be real, right? Somebody was to knit a, a, a San Diego Padres um, beanie for that mole on his shoulder. <laughs> Would that be wrong? <laughs> not, like, I'm not trying to be all ripped. That dude's intense. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to look like that. Wes might be warm, me, eh? but uh, he's very inconsiderate because that, uh, that thing on his back looks cold. Remember on Austin Powers, mole, 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 mole. Like you couldn't, like they were like, whatever you do, don't look at the mole. And Austin Powers went in there, he's like, mole, mole, mole. <laughs> you guys see it, and you thought the same thing. Beanie that thing up. You ain't trying to do shit, motherfucker. No. Huh, You're man. just trying to do the least you can and get yeah. the most you can. Yeah, That's not how it works. You guys are fucking, dude. What? How the fuck could my dumb ass come out here and in four years get where I'm at? Well, because you lie constantly and you became the great white hype. You see, there's other people who have legitimate stories and have legitimately turned their lives around and they don't glorify, they don't drag people down. But see, there's thousands, unfortunately, of minorities who have lived this lifestyle. And so that's not what people, um, it's, it's not rare. Unfortunately, that's common. But then here you come, roided out, screaming. You are intelligent, but you sold a dream. And there were a bunch of people that came with four or five straws in their mouth. And they sucked it up. But your views on your channel are down. And so you came out with this thing to show everybody um, your mansion that you haven't recorded from besides a tennis court and some a polo bar somewhere in, <laughs> in the middle of the forest or something like that. Anyways, you know, I'm just I was just answering your question. My bad, big dog. How? No back steps. All you guys take is back steps with those negotiations. I don't take no back steps. I'm not going to eat that. I'm not going to drink that. Mm. I'm not going to smoke that. Mm. I'm not going to take that day off. Mm. I'm not going to do all that. that but you are going to do steroids. That's where all your success was. 
All that money you're looking for, mm -hmm. all them cuts you want, mm -hmm. all them muscles you want, all that shit you want in your life, all them mm -hmm. internal attributes that you wanted to solidify. I'm not very materialistic. To keep you on a progressive route, mm -hmm. that's what, all those days off, all those times you chose to opt out, mm -hmm. that's where it was coming from. You know, I, I probably shouldn't, you know, after me, myself, you know, I can't speak for anybody. <sighs> Let me think about that. Let me see. After having spent over 24 years in prison, he's probably right. I probably shouldn't want to spend time with my family. I probably shouldn't want to spend time with the people I love, the person I love. I should do steroids, put my health in jeopardy. Show up every fucking day. Yeah. Have a non-negotiable daily process that builds you in every way. Watch. How you no longer negotiate. Watch how you just I'm watching. fucking what? crave progress. Oh, okay. Crave positive. Thought I was in trouble. And how you just, you become so fucking strong yeah. that you stand back. And milk it. And you truly become the awareness behind your thoughts and emotions. And you just pick and choose them. Oh. Nope, nope, no, nope. No. Yeah, I want that. I want that. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. To where you construct your mind. Habitually construction of that fucking unbreakable mind unbreakable to where any blueprint slapped on the table in front of you it's easily crushed what if they slap your you guys, forehead psychology is all fucked all right. up your mindset's all fucked up i can give you any system or any blueprint and you can't do it you can't stick to it but can you give us the truth big dog you can't handle the truth because your core beliefs are weak your mindset's fucked up the way you look at what needs to be done is flawed. Oh. When we change that, mm. we'll be able to get you to crush any blueprint. Okay. How do you change that? You get around motherfuckers who have a complete different operating system, not your low level fucking friends. Oh, it's okay, have that. Oh, you're weird if you don't have that. That's what I was telling people on a group call the other day. Oh, dear the guy Lord. was telling me how a chick he, he's hanging out with drinks and stuff and parties a bit. And is loose with her discipline and all that. He said, it's so hard to be around her. I said, motherfucker, you got this backwards. We're hard to be around. We're hard to be around. The, dis the disciplined people who don't drink, don't smoke, don't fuck around with no drugs, no nothing. And they stick to a rigid. Never mind. I already talked about it. Daily process that's chock full of self-inflicted adversity. We're difficult, motherfucker. You're the difficult one. She's not. She's normal. She's average. We're the hard ones to be around. But guess what? Guess what, homeboy? Hard is what works, motherfucker. Let's go. He loves you. He knocked his microphone down. He knocked it. I feel like, I swear, I feel like knocking my microphone down. You ain't gonna outdo me, Wes. But uh, yeah, he forgot to say it. <laughs> but he loves you guys. And he's glad you pay probably 250 bucks. Maybe 5000 for that conference call. It means so much to him. It means so much to him to have you on that call and talk about that average woman. Imagine that. Wow. But anyways, um, I appreciate you guys. for uh, I appreciate you guys being here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully I'll get my setup. Uh, fixed up a little bit better, but um, hopefully the sound is fine. I don't know. I don't want to have it too close because uh, this mic tends to get loud. I'm still adjusting, but um, let me get out of here. Tell the one, everybody be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right?